everyone, welcome back to the Colorful Foodie channel. Today I have my niece Lisa with me. She's from the Netherlands and we're gonna make Dutch pancakes. What do you call those in Dutch? Pannenkoeken. Say it again? Pannenkoeken. And when do you make pannenkoeken? Um, Am I saying it right? I don't know. We make them sometimes when we're like having It's like a meal. Isn't it for birthdays and special yes. occasions too? Yeah? Yeah. And today we have a very special birthday. Wine coach's birthday. So we're gonna make pancakes for him, okay? So this is a very simple batter from what I understand. We're gonna use three cups of flour, any flour of your choice. This happens to be all purpose. We're gonna use three eggs and three cups of milk. Yeah, and you can use any milk of your choice as well. So we're gonna start by adding the flour. So go ahead, Lisa, and add one cup, and I'm gonna help you by adding the other, the other two. Okay, and these are half cups, so that's gonna be a lot of flour. Because we're gonna make it for six people. Okay, and this should make how many pancakes approximately? Fifteen. Fifteen? Is that what we said? I guess we'll find out. All right, so now we're gonna add the eggs, okay? Okay, now three eggs, and I, I'm sure that we could do a combination if you wanna make this a little healthier, of one egg and possibly six egg whites, or two eggs and two egg whites. But we're gonna use three full eggs today because we're gonna do it exactly the Dutch way. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna begin to whisk that. Yeah, nice and easy. And my understanding is that we add the milk little by little. So we're gonna do one third first. Correct. Is that little? That's good. Continuing to whisk away and add the milk. It's going to be a very consistent and even batter. We're going to add a pinch of salt. So this recipe takes no sugar, just salt. Is that good? Good enough? We're continuing to whisk away and add the milk. It's going to be a very consistent and even batter. We're going to add a pinch of salt. So this recipe takes no sugar. The last little bit of milk, and I want to bring in the expert, who's my sister-in-law, Mariana, and she's the one supervising us. So can you please tell us, Mariana? This is Mariana, everybody. And we're going to see if this is a good batter. Yeah, I think it looks good. So what are you doing exactly? Are you making sure there's no bubbles or pieces? Yes, the pieces. And then for it the should table. be very smooth, yes? yes? And the consistency, is this a good consistency? Yes, because it, it should be thicker than milk, like yogurt. Okay, so thicker than milk, but it's kind of like a blend between milk and yogurt is what we want. So kind of like a smoothie, really. Yeah. Yeah? Nice. You can also leave this overnight in the fridge. Uh, yeah, but then you have, when you use, you have to mix it again because the... Uh, the sedimentation yes. on the bottom. Okay. Yeah. But you could cover this and leave it in the fridge overnight and I can make pancakes again yes, tomorrow. Yes, yes. But it's also good to make it right now. Or do yes. you usually let it rest any? No, I usually use it immediately. All right, that's what we're gonna do. We use it immediately. <laughs> so we have a good setup here in the back. I'm gonna show that to you next. So what we have here is two frying pans. We're gonna use regular frying pan and we use Butter, and we're going to ladle the pancake batter onto the frying pan. And what we have going on here is a small pan with hot water, it's just keeping it warm and a plate on top. And that's where we're going to deposit the pancakes as we make them. So we're ready to go now. So we're going to start by adding a little bit of butter, like we said. I'm trying to imitate the, the expert over here first ladle you know this is usually the sacrifice pancake right they never turn out right yes that's true but hey maybe maybe this one's gonna be great you never know, yeah, you <laughs> never know. 
So you see how she rolls it around? That's what you need to do. It's, it's similar to crepe, right? It's more similar to a crepe than it is to American pancakes, because we usually yes. like our pancakes fluffy and yeah and these these need to be thin nice and thin yes wait until the the top is dry and then you can turn it over it needs to be dry or almost dry so you can turn it over and look oh wow it turns out to be good one see it wasn't even a sacrifice pancake so I was just told that my pan was a little bit too hot because there was a little browning of the butter on the sides, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but they won't look as nice and pretty and white like this one, but that's okay because we didn't burn anything, but that just means you have to decrease the temperature of your fire. <laughs> yes. Right? Yeah. So we're getting the hang of this. Um, I think mine's a little thicker just because it's a smaller frying pan. Maybe. Yeah, but that's not for wood. That's okay, right? I'm still gonna be able to roll it up. Roll up my pancakes. You um, can also throw it up. Can you do that? I don't know. Can you? You can. No. I can probably. I can try. Try it. Can I see you do it first? <laughs> <laughs> that's the bad thing. I knew you would say that. But I'll try I don't after know you. It do. works. I don't know. Know. Oh, it won't it's okay. work. Go. I don't. Do it. Yeah! <laughs> Success! So, your turn! <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> um, okay. Ah! No! Ah! It wasn't ready. Yeah, it's not ready. Mine's fatter than yours. Remember we just talked yes. about it? We just yeah. talked about it. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay. Tastes good. I'll try it again. You gotta do it with confidence. Oh, look, look. Yes. see the browning that we were talking about? But that's absolutely okay because I bet it still tastes good. Yeah, it will taste good. <laughs> that's all that matters in the end. It tastes good. All right, Lisa, what are you doing now? I'm gonna add, put some butter in the pan and then I'm gonna put some pancake butter in the pan. good. What do you call butter in Dutch? Uh, the slot. The swat? The slot. The slot? Yes. If you're Dutch, make sure you leave a comment below. I want to know how many Dutch people are watching this. Love the Netherlands, clearly. I love it so much, I found myself a Dutch family. Can you can you add some vaslach for me? <laughs> Did I say it right? No. <laughs> how do you say it? The slot. The slot. Yeah. Better? Yes. Thank you for adding the beslag to my frying pan. How do you say frying pan? Pannekoekenpan. Pannekoekenpan? Pan? Pannekoekenpan. Pannekoekenpan. Yes. We won't throw this one up, okay? <laughs> we'll just flip it like a normal human being. Yeah. We'll leave that to the experts over there. <laughs> so how many pancakes can you eat at once? Um, three. Three? That's it? You can do better they, than that. They fill up. They fill you up? Yeah. The Dutch people got jokes. Oh. See that? I'm getting good at this pancake thing. Yeah. Pancake Delicious. On YouTube, Oh my god, it's on the floor. <laughs> yes. There you go, yeah! <laughs> you did it! Ooh. I'm gonna do this all the time now. <laughs> to make the pancake cool down, we put um Schenkstrook on top of the pancakes and it will taste delicious. It's like sweet, but it's a syrup, yeah? Yeah, it's a syrup. We can put powdered sugar on there too because it's like powdery and it's very cool, but we don't put them together. That's too sweet for us. Unless you're me, I put everything on there. I don't care. How do you call powdered sugar in Dutch? Poedersauker. What is it? Poedersauker. Poedersauker. <laughs> no? Oh, I suck at Dutch. <laughs> so we got at least 12 pancakes out of this batter, but of course it means that you can get smaller ones, like we made some pretty large surface pancakes, but it depends on the size of your frying pan. And how we kept it warm 
like I said before, was the warm water, the hot water under the plate. So they're all warm and ready. So Lisa's gonna show us how to decorate this the Dutch way. All right. So you can use syrup or you can use powdered sugar. I'm gonna use syrup. So you could like. I guess that leaves me with powdered sugar. <laughs> and you're gonna like put this in the middle. Just like... How much powdered sugar? That's enough. <laughs> Oh, and then what? That looks like enough too. <laughs> and then we we'll roll it up. Wait. Is this okay? Is this acceptable? So, like this. Oh, well. You can have a little bit more. Yeah, you said it was can enough. Sure. Yay, sugar and pancakes. Okay, so you just do it like that? Yeah, and then you eat it just like this. Show it. Let me see. How do you eat it? This? Yes, like that. It's good. Let's get some fruit. So here we got some strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries, and um, syrup, whipped cream, and powdered sugar, and pancakes. And we're gonna decorate them the colorful food way. That's right. So if you did this back at home in Holland, would they think it's weird that you're putting fruit on your pancake? Yes. <laughs> and that's the beauty. You can do whatever you want. It's your own pancakes. You just got to keep it colorful. Well, I hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And if you did, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel as well as to ColorfulFoodie.com. Please click, click the link below so that you can reach the written directions. Leave us a comment and don't forget to keep it colorful.